Welcome back everybody. So in this episode, what we're going to look at is conditional probability. So we're going to be using Venn diagrams and two formulae. Uh, the first one that we'll just highlight here is the conditional probability formula. So it is the probability of A given B can be found by the probability of A and B over the probability of B. So let's, let's sort of look at that more uh, visually, okay? So assume that we have a universal set. So this is a, a Venn diagram, and if you want to know more about Venn diagrams, watch my other video on this. But we have a universal set, and uh, in this set there are two instances where we will have event A and event B. They are not mutually exclusive, otherwise these circles wouldn't overlap, so that means that the events can happen at the same time. Um, and so there was an overlap in the middle. So just to be absolutely clear, looking at the probability formula, this A and B, uh, which I'm just going to sort of circle here, is actually uh, the center, right? This is A and B, right? So let's just go back and sort of piece this together. So it says, for conditional probability, the event A happening given B happens. So if we go back to the Venn diagram, what we'll do is I will circle B, okay? So this is event B has happened. So what we want to do is to only look at an event B. Now it says, what is the probability of A happening given B has happened? So what we're doing is we're basically sort of ring fencing um, event B off. Okay, so we're only going to be looking inside this, uh, this pink circle, okay? So what is the event of A happening? Well, the event of A happening is the center, okay, because this is part of A, okay? It's the center out of the total circle uh, B. So if we're looking at a Venn diagram, it's basically the center out of B. So that's why the formula is easy to remember, is that it's the center out of B. So the thing, the denominator... Uh, on this conditional probability will always be the thing that is given. So when it says given, okay, here, given, that will always be part of the denominator. And the numerator will always be the combination of the two. So it's A out of B. So we take that section. So here uh, we have a Venn diagram. Events A and B are shown. The probability of A occurring is 0 0.6. Now be careful here because that is the whole, so, so, so if we want to, so that is the whole circle um, that the probability of A is 0 0.6. So that includes P and it includes Q. But it does say here that the uh, probability of A and B happening is 0 0.1. So that's, that's, that's really useful information because we can put that straight in now. Therefore then, uh, it's like a domino effect, and once we know that that's 0 0.1, and we know that the probability of A is 0 0.6, that means that this is 0 0.5, because the sum of 0 0.5 and 0 0.1 is 0 0.6. The probability of A or B, or both, is 0 0.9. That means that the, uh, the, the things I'm sort of ticking here, uh, all of that needs to add up to 0 0.9. So we've already got 0 0.6, so that means that the last value here is 0 0.3, okay? Now, I've sort of not even re really read the question here. I was just trying to fill in the, the Venn diagram, and I can go one step further that if that adds up to, um, so it's 6, 7, 8, 9, so that means that's 0 0.1, because the, everything inside the universal set must add up to 1. Okay, so find the values of Q and P. Values of Q is equal to 0 0.1, and the value of P is uh, 0 0.5. So we've solved that part of the question. Find not B. So that means nothing to do with B. So that means that we do not want to count anything inside B. So everything outside of B is 0 0.5 plus 0 0.1 is uh, 0 0.6. Let's write that down there, 0 0.6. Um, uh, find the probability of A given not B. So the formula, remember when we go into the exam, or it is in the formula booklet if you're doing the IB, A given not B is the probability of A and not B over the probability of not B. Okay, so there is a little bit of a reason why they ask you to find this in part B is because we've already found not B. So we've already found the denominator, that is 0 0.6. And what is the probability of A and not B? Okay, the probability of A and not B 
is 0 0.5. So uh, 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.6 will be the same as 5 over 6 if we're leaving it as an exact value. Uh, we'll just go through it. Okay, following Venn diagram shows two events, A and B, where the probability of A is 0 0.3, B is 0 0.6, and the intersection is 0 0.2. So we're going to put the intersection on. That means that that will be 0 0.1. Uh, probability of B is 0 0.8, so that means it's 0 0.6. If we add those together, 6, 7, 8, 9, that is 0 0.1 then on the exterior. Find the values R, P, Q, and S. I think we've done that. Okay, so R is 0 0.2, P is 0 0.1, Q is 0 0.6, and S is 0 0.1. Okay, find the probability of A and not B. Right, so we've got the same thing here where we have the probability of A and not B over the probability of not B. So it's similar to the first question. Uh, the probability of not B is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1. So what I'm doing here is I'm looking at not B. So we, here's B, so we don't want anything inside B. So not B is 0 0.1 and 0 0.1, so not B is 0 0.2. And the probability of A and not B. Okay, so not B and A is 0 0.1. Okay, so what I'm doing here is I'm timesing top and bottom by 10, uh, leaving it as a fraction is a half. Let's do one more. Okay, so this one, uh, they have not given us a Venn diagram. I often find that in many of these questions, it's very, very useful to draw a Venn diagram. Um, so two events A and B are such that, okay, they've given us some information here. So I'll start by drawing a Venn diagram and labeling A and B because this is very, very helpful when we're doing some of these questions. Um, probability of A 0 0.5, the intersection is 0 0.16. Okay, so now what we can do is we can actually find A because if we take, so if we can start with 0 0.58, we take off uh, 0 0.16, will that be 4842? So 0 0.42 uh, will be the probability of A. Okay, so 0 0.42, double check. We also know then that find the probability of A given not B. Okay, so the probability of A and not B uh, will be, so, so think about this, so not B and A. So that is 0 0.42. So the part A is probability of A and not B is 0 0.42. Given that not A and not B uh, is 0 0.28, okay, so that means that that is the exterior, okay, so it says uh, not A and not B. Um, that means now if I get a calculator, I can actually figure out what the last little uh, part B is. Okay, so I'm just going to just do this very, very quickly on the calculator. So I've got 0 0.42 plus 0 0.16 plus 0 0.28, okay, and that results in 0 0.86. So that means that the last section is 0 0.14, okay, because remember that the sum of all of these must add up to 1. So I've managed to find the last little part of this Venn diagram. Um, everything must add up to 1 in here. Well, let's go back to the question here. What is the probability of A given not B? of A given not B is the probability of A and not B over the probability of not B, right? So uh, not B is 0 0.42 plus 0 0.28. So that's uh, 0 0.7. So the denominator will be 0 0.7. And the numerator is A and not B. A and not B. So um, that is 0 0.42. Okay. 0 0.42 divided by 0 0.7. Okay. Is 0 0.6. And that is the answer. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. When new content drops, you'll be the first to know about it. On the left, click the video for more tutorials. I'll see you next time.